You think they got us? I think they're still. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Uh, 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 you good? You good? First line, we did all right for your first time. Listen, we about to hit this fast pace down to this gas station, though. Gotcha. 
right. We should have a spot like two blocks away from here, man. All right. Come on. You good? I'm good. Come on, we done made it too far now. Come on. What do we do? Come on, come in here. Get in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is anyone else in here? Go check the stalls. Yeah, you stayed on your feet. Listen, we're gonna sit here, map a way out of this maze, and get up out of here, man. We can't be too long now. What if, what if somebody comes in? D, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I don't think nobody's bum rushing the bathroom. We do gotta move, though. Matter of fact, we're gonna steal a car. A car? Yeah. Unless you have a skateboard or some rollerblades in your back pocket, a car. We can't steal a car. And why is that? I signed up for liquor and petty cash. Car? Car's a major fucking crime. You signed up? You signed up for the possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. That's major. Possession of a firearm. By a person prohibited. That's major. Robbery. Assault. Aggravated menacing. Conspiracy. Those are major. Stealing the car is some petty shit. We should just ditch the shit and walk away. Oh, now we should ditch it? Ditch the quarter brick that your man didn't come and get. Ditch the liquor, the money that you had the bright idea of taking. All of that, I signed up for this because you asked me to. You're not about to sign out. Not now. What the fuck was that? Tony, what was that? I thought you checked the bathroom stalls. Man. I did, I did. Check that shit again. I got your back this time. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh, shit. Took a short way out, huh? Are you done, man? Take a look. It's just a dead body, man. That's it. Get your shit together. You look just as fucking bad as her, man. We gotta get out of here, though. But... What about the girl? We need to get... What about the girl? We didn't kill her. That's not our problem. I mean, what if people think we did this? I mean, they have security cameras. I mean, how do you think it's gonna look when they see two people being chased by the cops? And and they they got security cameras and shit. I mean, we could get the blame for this. How are we gonna get the blame for something when our fingerprints aren't even on the gun, man? We What's wrong with you, man? Are you serious? Are you for real? Out of everything in this bitch, you should have touched her, you touched a gun! You gotta be fucking shitting me, man. Give me one fucking reason why I shouldn't put you right next to this bitch right now. I've never been I swear that. to God, say something else, I'll put you next to her right now! Motherfucker, man. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. All right, look, we don't have time for this shit, man. We don't got time for games. Come here, man. Come here. Get away from that shit. I don't want to be around that shit. Give me your coat. You're going to check the body for the keys. If she has some keys, put her in the trunk. 
I'm gonna try to make the fucking best that I can of this shit, and we're gonna split out of here. What if she doesn't have a car? Then fucking steal a different car. We don't have time for that shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get in there. Start with her arm. Oh. Jesus, man. What are you doing? She's dead, man. Come on. Uh, now go over there and grab her feet. That's good, that's good, that's good. Check for the keys, man. Fuck everything up, man. Where are your keys at? Got him. Got him, good. Look, go get the car. I'm gonna start wrapping shit up. Yeah. Okay, we, uh, we, we got a car. What kind of car is it, man? Um, it's a uh, white Kia. White Kia. Trunk room? Yes. All right, you know what? Don't even matter about it. Is, uh, right. is the bathroom clean? Look, it's as good as it's going to get, man. We don't have to worry about that shit right now. I need you to grab the bitch. I'm going to grab the door. I'm going to keep the lookout. Why do I have to grab her? Because you grabbed the gun. This is just shit that we in right now. Stop asking so many questions, man. Look, grab the broad. I'm going to grab the lookout. Just... Pay attention, man. Do as I'm telling you, man. I promise you. People are coming. It's like 30 people, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so, so we should do all this. Wait, who? Who's got some money? I got five dollars. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get him in the fucking bag. Right. Well, you got to decide. I'm going to sit back, okay? All right. Peace, Queen. Listen, I don't mean to interrupt you. No disrespect to whoever you may be with. Long story short, I lost my cell phone. I work in a behavioral home. My client did not take his medication tonight. I'm only asking you to use your cell phone just to contact my employee. That's it. Hey, listen, I would love to stay and help, but I really got to go pee. Listen, I don't, I don't even have to touch the phone. You can hold the phone on speakerphone, and I'll talk. I promise. Okay, listen, you're going to move, and I'm going to go, okay? Enjoy your night. Okay, ill. Hey. Hello. How long are you gonna be in there? Hey. Okay, I don't have time for this.
got to be shitting me, man. Let's go. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with that girl? She, um... Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. So I'm riding around town like, 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 like I got a body in the trunk, bop body in the trunk. Said I'm riding around town like, like, got a body in it. Just lost my job and my hobby in the slump. So I'm riding around town like, 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 like I got a body in the trunk, uh -huh. bop body in the trunk. Said I'm riding around town like, like I got a body in the trunk. Gotta slow my brain flow, see I gotta breathe. Because the night started off as a basic robbery. Now the situation stressed me even further. Cause we went from robbery to accessory of a murder So I went from being wired and being stressed further Cause little man decided to put his prints on the burner Now we got my mind moving faster than track meets Cause we dumped her in the trunk and death fragrance seeping through the backseat Got your seatbelt on. Put the gun away, man. Can I help you, officer? The boy's got a brake light out. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'll make sure I get it as soon as we go home. All right. Where are you boys going this time of night? Oh, we're just headed back home. We're new in town, so we're still trying to learn the logistics of where to go and the best way to get home, you know. Most people go on the highways into the city areas, so most people we have around here are just farmers, truckers, and the occasional criminal. Criminals? Yeah. Believe it or not, we actually get a couple outlaws out here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Most people think that because it's so small and run down, we don't do patrol out here. Hmm. I've seen a lot of crazy shit. Yeah? Mm-hmm. First night out on the job, right? I was out here with another officer. You know, he's training me, showing me the ropes. We're just patrolling the area, you know, it's going calm, nothing too crazy. Then around 2 a.m., we pull over this one young lady, right? Mm -hmm. And he's, my, my mentor's letting me take a lead on things, you know? And, you know, I'm getting her information, questioning her, you know, that kind of thing. Right. Nothing out of the ordinary. And I'm just about to send her off. Mm -hmm. And my mentor stops, stops her. Notices that she's shaking really bad, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's summer, you know? It's the middle of the night, but no one shakes that badly. Right. So he knows something, something's up. So we get her out of the car and she starts crying, just bawling hysterically. So we search her car and I don't see anything out of the ordinary until I pop the trunk. Hmm. You know what I see? What? A body. Goddamn body. It was her husband, you know? Hmm. Turned out he was beating her. This time, just things got out of hand. She grabbed a gun and tried to defend herself. Succeeded too. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, you know, she thinks she's about to spend her life in prison, right? Oh. So, she, adrenaline starts kicking in, and, you know, she pulls a switchblade out of her pocket. Tries to hold me and my boy up. What? I had to pull out my gun and tell her to throw down her weapon, but, you know, she's just crazy. She is gone. Too many years of abuse and mistreatment has just gone to her head. Mm. So, you know, she lunged at my partner. Had mm. to shoot her down. And it was justified, you know, but... Right. Just still, this day, it haunts me. She was only 23. 
had her whole life in front of her, mm. you know? You doing all right there, man? Oh, yeah, it's, that's my little brother. He's kind of scared. It's his first time being pulled over, and he was supposed to be home. My dad's already going to be mad at us. Well, man, you got to be nervous. Ain't like you two doing nothing wrong, right? Dude, man, he, he's on our side, man. Nothing to worry about. It's, like I said again, our dad, really strict, so. All right. Well, sorry to hold you guys up with my rambling. It's just kind of lonely out here at night, you know, so. Not bad. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you two drive safe, okay? You too. Whoa, hey, wait a minute. You guys got another light out here about to go out. Is that right? Yeah, I think I can fix it for you if you want. Uh, not a problem. Like I said, man, right up here on the right-hand turn, we're like three houses down. Ah, right, come on. It'll just be a couple seconds, you know? I, I will greatly appreciate it from man to man because it's my dad's car. You know, firstborn son, I'd really love to be able to be the one to go ahead and fix it, take care of it. It is his car after all, so. All right. You two have a good night. You too. Bang. Yo, I can't believe we just got away. You got to be shitting me right now. <laughs> we just got out of that shit with the police and you crying? Man, you need to pull your shit together yesterday. You understand what I'm telling you? Are you even paying attention to me? I swear, man, unless you plan on being a permanent plot in a prison, you need to help me with the task at hand. Now. Please do before I do, because I promise you, what are we going to do with her, man? Why don't I just dump her in a river? I know this river a couple couple miles east of here. Yeah, that's cute. Dump. And it's we probably plugged in right behind the prison that's up the road, too. Because when she comes up and floating, we're going to be on law and order. Think, man. An outhouse. A what? An outhouse. I mean, around here there's a ton of them. Farmers just dig them once. And you dare bury a body deep enough in an outhouse, no one's gonna go looking for it. Hmm. It's actually not bad, though. I mean, farmers, they, they go out there and they dig it just once. And they never, they never go checking it again. I mean, what are they, what are they gonna do? They're not gonna you know be looking in there for a you body. Sold, you sold me. Outhouse it is. Listen, man, it's going to start cracking dawn in about an hour, man. And I'm not trying to have my shadow dancing all over this earth like that. So given the fact that we haven't found one of these Ronald McDonald outhouses that you spoke on, we need to just dump her something. Look, check me out. See it by the warehouse? Go grab those two shovels. Hurry up, princess. Told you stop wearing them skinny jeans, you can't even run right. Back home, baby girl.
What's up? This is it, man. Yep. I don't see any fucking owl houses out here. You're gonna get the shovels, I'm gonna get the bitch, we're gonna make this happen, and then get the fuck out of here. Ain't you gonna help me? I'm gonna help you. Experience, experience. Do you get what I'm saying to you? You're the reason why we're having to do this dumbass shit. I suggest you just be calm and make sure I don't dig a hole. Tony, do you think we're murderers? We didn't murder anything. How are we supposed to be murderers? I mean, think about it. What's a murderer do? Murderers take people away from the world. This girl's probably got family or friends back home who care about her. They're never gonna know what happened to her. Does that make us any better? Better than the people who actually kill people. Or better than the girl who killed herself in a dirty ass, trifling bathroom stall at a gas station. That, you mean the one who probably doesn't have a long list or line of people that love her or care about her. The girl that probably killed herself before someone else did. All right, well, what about respect? Respect? Respect. Have you ever thought to respect the fact that we might go down in history like Jack the Ripper and them? Have you thought about the respect that we're gonna have from the mob of people that chase us down from Walt Disney because this pretty little young thing kills herself? With her whole life ahead of her, story told by these prophetic robbers that find her. That, do you think they're gonna look at us like the Salvation Army? Even if we get away with this, and none of that, we still have to live with the fact that this happened for the rest of our lives. Get back to the basics, man. I know I haven't said it tonight, man, but I'm proud of you. It takes a lot to look at a dead body for the first time, man. Here, here, come on, come on, come on. Help me with the body. You know what? Fuck it. Come on. Not what it looks like. What the hell happened? Listen, all I know is that we walked into a bathroom and found her like this. Freaked out, panicked, just came out here to drop the body off. We didn't know what else to do. She breathing? No. Is she alive? No. Y'all got about 30 seconds to tell me what's going on before you lay in there next to her. Listen, listen, listen. You gotta believe us. I can explain what happened here. We walked in to a bathroom, found her just like this. Panicked, just came out here to drop the body off. That's it. I had no idea it was your lane. The pathetic excuse. Why wouldn't you just call the police? Spare the moment, man. Sporadic thinking. I mean, my little brother grabbed the gun. What other options do we have? We really didn't... I mean, we weren't thinking like that. Not from here. What would the police think if they walked in on that? Put yourself in that situation. Before I knew it, we're wiping walls down, trying to... What are you doing?
just lost my job and my hobby in the slump So I'm riding around town like, 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 like I got a body in the trunk Bop body in the trunk, said I'm riding around town like, like, got a body in it Just lost my job and my hobby in the slump So I'm riding around town like, 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 like I got a body in the trunk Bop body in the trunk, said I'm riding around town like, like I got a body in the trunk Gotta slow my brain flow, see I gotta breathe Because the night started off as a basic robbery now the situation stressed me even further Cause we went from robbery to accessory of a murder So I went from being wired and being stressed further Cause little man decided to put his prints on the burner Now we got my mind moving faster than track meets Cause we dumped her in the trunk and death fragrance seeping through the backseat Yes, the stress that deep If we get caught will he take the rap and start talking like a rat speak Is he built to last or will he break under pressure? Character is defined and explained in the message let me address you when saying to be defined as a man is plainly explained in the heart, soul, and mind of a man. I'm saying I'm designed as a man, it's a wolf, but able to be disguised as a lamb. Bye.